welcome to a, a very wet Hebden Bridge. Uh, we decided to uh, hook up two walks and do long distance, get a couple of wild camps in. So we're at the uh, official start, as they say, of the Hebden Bridge Valley Heritage Trek. That's uh, 17 miles. We'll do uh, half of that today. And then we're going to hit the uh, Todd Morden way and uh, pass uh, Stugley Pike and head into Todd Morden. And our actual wild camp spot is called Bradstones, funnily enough. Yeah, we're going to wild camp there. Hopefully the weather will get a bit, a bit better a bit later. Yeah, I've got Phil with me, trying to keep dry. But yeah, it's only meant to be raining for another couple of hours. So hopefully, yeah, it'll dry off. We'll get a nice wild camping. So yeah, 17 miles for this one. Todd Morden Way is there, or Centenary Way, we call it. It's there, 23 miles. So we'll do half of each today. So I'm not exactly sure on mileage. I reckon it's about 15 to 17. We'll get a calculation later. So yeah, we'll see you on the way. climb of the day just hit whole bank heading up to uh Stoodley Pike now Phil just in front yeah nice little climb to start off from the uh, canal walk it was really nice that definitely do that one again we're up high now and that uh, that sun starting to break through the rain stayed in the other valley thank god but the humidity, whew, yeah, a bit ripe at the minute. So, yeah, on to Stooley Pike. Got a few reservoirs to pass first. And then we'll head off into Todd Morden. Stock up on a few supplies. Yeah, very enjoyable up to now. See you a bit later on. See, just over there, we've got Stoobly Pike Monument. And that'll be tomorrow night's camp. Hopefully it won't be this windy. The clouds come in now, which was forecast, so I'm going to get down to uh, Todd Morden next after this. And we've got another big climb out. Yeah, so we'll see you there.
just completed uh, clap number three. Not exactly uh, sure what it's called. I think it's called Great Rock. So we're now on the opposite side of the valley of where we was. So I think we're off to a little rock formation and then uh, we're down into Todd Morden. And then climb number four will be up to the Bridestones. I'll tell you what, I need some training though. It's a right killer, this one. But the paths have been really good, there's been no bog. So we're on track now. Hi, right, time to go restock. Is, uh, how long has it taken? So, I'm nine hours, eight, nine hours. Uh, it's been a slog, 18 miles, but it'll be worth it for this view tonight. And right over there is our camping spot for tomorrow. What a beautiful sight. No, 20 past 8. It's been really busy up here, so we've decided to leave it till now to get pitched up. Just so it didn't really annoy anybody who was coming up. <laughs> it's got even more busy now, as we've pitched up. Um, Innsfil, Exmid Tap, Z-Packs, with the inner. Hmm? With the inner. Yeah, What's your total weight? Remember? Yeah, 500 and... Enough 500 grams back on. That is... That is good, that. It's actually just slightly lower, 495. When you say my autoplex is 565, it's... And you, that's an all-in-one, and that's a, a two-piece. Yeah. 200 for an and uh, 295. Nice. Yeah, so what we decided to do was... Uh, have a, a cider and chill out in the sun for a bit. <laughs> it was really nice. Yeah, just uh, to avoid people coming up and seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's got busy again as it's getting towards sunset time. Sunset in about 40 minutes. I reckon it'll be a bit earlier with the with the hills. But yeah, like I said before, I fixed the plexi mid. And yeah, I don't know what they did when they took it back. But usually it's like all normal corners and then this corner here is somehow folded over so they've done some but i repaired it on the on the stairs i put some uh, gaffer tape on there stop them cutting through the uh, nylon webbing and it seems to have worked i'm very happy a nice bottle of worm for later yeah got in there the uh, Firmarest X-Lite with me yeah uh, lighting equipment Revelation 20 with the Weber strips which uh, you might have seen in the last video if I posted it yes really really decent quote full setup is really light you got 350 for the uh, for the mat and then I think it's just over 500 grams for the uh, for the quilt and with the weather strips you can't really go wrong with that and yeah seems uh, more people are coming up seems to be a very popular spot this so there we've got some uh, nice views for the night yeah sunrise is five o'clock in the morning so up at half past four so can't get too drunk and then uh, off to our camp spot which is right over there on uh, Stooley Pike at the monument yeah we did we did 18 miles today it was uh, quite a slog for me 
been stuck in for the last couple of months not being able to get out it's been a bit I won't say the word but you know what I mean it's not been great and uh, training wise we did four it was it was it four four hills today which were actually like mountains in the lakes so yeah very tough going should be a shorter day tomorrow we head off over that way back to uh, Todd Mode and I'll just past it and then we go up and I think we've only got one up and down after that so hopefully I'll get the uh, drone out in the morning I ain't doing it tonight not with with it being so busy don't want to be upsetting people and uh, we'll see you in the morning Oh, good morning, it's five o'clock. The uh, sun is just rising. Beautiful morning. It's really peaceful. No wind at all. Got to bed about 11 o'clock. So after those 18 miles, I was there. Uh, definitely fell straight asleep. Yeah glorious morning and the plan is Stoodley Pike Monument this morning or well, this afternoon it will be it's approximately 16 to 17 miles we reckon so yeah and Bradstone's a very public place uh, not sure we'd come back here just for a, a normal wild camp overnight eh? just way too busy Definitely a nice spot to camp at. Oh, that. Amazing. Cracking sunrise. It's meant to be a uh, full on sun all day today. So, I wish I'd bought some sun cream or something. Because I'm already burnt. We've got a few little uh, cloud inversions in the land. Got some uh, crunchy nut cornflakes for breakfast. Have a nice cup of tea. Pack up, and then I think we'll uh, we'll head off then. Get cracking. We'll take our time today. We've got an extra four hours. Seems uh, been itself till about ten o'clock yesterday. But yeah, looking forward to it. We'll see you on the way.
just uh, a free old, free old trig point. And, uh, that's 454 meters up. Quite high. So we're uh, seven miles in now, and it's only half past ten. Which is a, it's a bit early. We've got uh, approximately nine, ten miles left, and uh, we're not meant to be in there for another ten hours. <laughs> so I think we might take a detour. There's a little uh, village that is about a kilometer off path. We might end up doing that, but it means going all the way down. So. We'll see. Yeah, feeling good. Sun's out. So, I right, see you on the way. to the red hot scorching day on day two it's got to definitely be well in the 30s today there's just no wind at all now I've taken it out of you but we're up to uh, mile 15 and uh, we did a sad trip to uh, I can't even remember the name of it what was it called Walls it Walls and Yeah, it took us like a mile off path and then obviously a mile back somewhere along the way so we made it back to where we left the path and uh, got back on route but it's been there uh, since about midday I think it's just been a hectic with that sun so yeah we're both struggling a little bit now maybe a little bit We've got one class climb, got to go all the way down there somehow and then climb all the way up the other side in this heat. But then it's only a couple of miles after that so yeah here we are. let's go. The uh, more with no name, we decided we found the better spot to pitch tonight. About a mile away from uh, Stooley Pike Monument, it was very busy, you could see it from over here. It's about a mile away. We found this little uh, rock formation just off path, so we're bang in the middle of the moor. Yeah, and it's spot on, but it hasn't got a name, so I can't tell you where it is. <laughs> So yeah, we got pitched up in the end, a cracking spot it is. So we got here about half past five-ish, chilled out, filled cooked. I ended up eating a sausage roll and a packet of crisps for my tea. Hot noodles. Hot noodles for Phil. And it's uh, time to chill out with a soda. But as you can see from my face, I have caught the sun. <laughs> fair bit today it's been horrendous an absolute agony with it but it's quite funny so yeah we've got it won't be funny tomorrow no it won't be no, it won't. yeah we've got a mile to do tomorrow to finish the uh, Todd Morden Centenary Way should be good and then we've got six to finish the Hebden 
valley trek walk so yeah that'd be good and then it's off home unfortunately but yeah that weather today has been absolutely stifling i reckon it's in the 30s i reckon it's late 20s but yeah sunburn always remember her hat otherwise it will burn yes one of them so trying out my uh, x0 Amori Hero flip flops, keep my feet out tonight. It's warm enough, so I was going to try them last night, but they were uh, just getting a bit cold by the time we pitched up. Yeah, it's time to enjoy the night. I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, it's the third and final day of our two, two trips. Uh, as you can see, always remember your, your sun hat and your sun cream. Because <laughs> I didn't feel very good when I woke up today. I was very cold, even though it was very warm. And then we've uh, had a bit of breakfast, crunchy nut, which worked well. But uh, as Phil forgot his tea bags last uh, so I give him one coffee and one tea, and it turns out that I didn't like any of the tea, so I'm back on the coffee, <laughs> and Phil's having the tea. So yeah, we've got uh, about seven miles to do today. Pretty much all down, apart from one little up. Well, it might not be one little up, but there's one up, and then straight back to the car. And I think with my sunburn, it's definitely a uh, good idea to finish today. But it's a glorious morning. Had a great sunrise. A few clouds in the sky. So, yeah, should be a good day. And we'll uh, see you on the way. There you go, 23 miles complete, it's up more than centenary wick done. Yes, yeah, very enjoyable walk that one. It's very tough, lots of ups and downs. But looking around, there wouldn't have been that much wild camping opportunities, not unless you're actually next to the monument, but people are always up here. So it's, it's not really convenient. But we was right, right over there, about just over a mile away was a perfect spot. So we're gonna finish the uh, Hebden Valley trek next which is about another six miles. I'll see you when we're done.
think you'll recognise this. This is where we started two and a half days ago. Headed out on the Hebden Valley Heritage Trek, which is now completed. We're not sure of the mileage because we ended up maybe 10 miles, you reckon? Yeah. yeah. And we only thought it was six. So we're not, we're not actually sure on what we've, what we've done on each day. So, but yeah, it's, <laughs> we're glad to get it done. It's time for a bit of food and uh, head off home. So we'll see you next trip. See you later.